Today I want to talk to you about ribbing in continental combination style. So when you cast on the first row, all the stitches are mounted in Western style. So the right leg of the stitch is on the front of the needle. If you haven't watched my video about the Western and Eastern mounting of the stitches, please go back to that video and watch it first. It's going to help you to understand what's going on here. But basically, we would for the knit stitches, we would insert the needle knitwise and pick the yarn behind the knit stitch, pull it through and pull off the stitch. For the purl stitch in, in continental combination style, you insert the needle purl wise, slide the yarn underneath of that needle and pull it off. So one more time, insert the needle and pull the stitch off. I'll show you one more time, slow. So this is the knit stitch. And this is the purl stitch. So you insert the needle, yarn under, and you pull. So what happens in the second row, because this is the way we purled, you're gonna have different orientation of the stitches. The knit stitches are oriented with the right leg of the stitch behind the needle and the purl stitches are oriented with the right leg of the stitch in front of the needle. And that's why it's called combination because some stitches are oriented in Western style and some in Eastern style. So on the second row, we're gonna knit through the back loop. So you just insert the needle on the back side, grab that yarn and pull it through. And then we'll purl the same way we did on the first row. So just insert the needle purl wise, put the yarn underneath of the needle, pick that yarn and slide off. So let's do it again. Knit through the back loop and purl through the front. Knit through the back loop Slide the needle purl wise, yarn underneath of the needle, pull it and purl. And if you look at the next row, you're gonna see the same exact thing. You will have to, the knit stitch is located with the right leg of the stitch in the back of the needle. So you would knit through the back loop and the purl located with the Western style mounting. So the right leg of the stitch is in the front of the needle. So you purl like you traditionally would purl in continental combination style. And you would repeat that for as long as you need to do your ribbing. And this is how you do ribbing in the flat. Now let's talk about ribbing in the round. I'll be showing it to you using the magic loop method this time. So I cast it on even a number of stitches and let's talk about the first row. So the first row is gonna be you need all the stitches mounted in the Western mount. So you need through the front loop and you purl like we normally purl in the continental combination style. Once again, insert the needle knitwise, pick up that yarn and pull, insert the needle knitwise, pick up that yarn and pull, then slide the yarn in the front, insert the needle purl wise, Put that yarn underneath of the needle and pull. Once again, insert the needle purlwise, put the yarn underneath of the needle and slide. So that's how we would need the first row. But now let's see what's happening on the second row. So now let's talk about the second row. In the second row, the knit stitches are gonna be oriented in the Western style, so you just knit them like you would do regular continental knitting. Insert the needle into the front loop, 
and pull the needle. But let's look at the purl stitches. You can see that they are oriented in the Eastern style with the right leg behind the needle. So you would have to purl through the back loop. In order to do that, you insert the needle into the back loop from the back like that, put the yarn underneath and pull it over. Let's do it one more time. You insert the needle knitwise, pick that yarn, pull it off. This is the knit stitch. And for the knit purling through the back loop, you insert the needle through the back loop, put the yarn underneath, pull and pull. And you can see why it's called combination continental because some of the stitches are in the eastern orientation and some of the stitches are in the western orientation but it creates this very neat ribbing as you can tell let me know if you would like to know more about knitting with the magic loop how to connect the stitches in the round or if you have any other questions about ribbing whether it's flat or in the round. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy crafting!